I saw in the realm of the spirit, there is a great attack on females, women in general, women, women, particularly women who are still vibrant. Are you following me? Women who are still what? Vibrant. vibrant. Who are still vibrant. Oh, they are still looking very fine and they are still vibrant. Are you following me? So there is a great attack from the pit of hell. A great one. This one now is a fresh arrow that is being fired. A show whereby you begin to see a lot of women begin to misbehave. Are you following me? They start what? Misbehaving. You will, you, you will not think it's ordinary. It's not ordinary. Are you following me? A kind of misbehaving whereby they will not know what they are doing again. Their focus now will now be on doing all manner of nasty things. Are you following me? Doing all manner of nasty behavior, nasty things, doing all manner of evil. This is what I saw. In the realm of spirit, I saw women. I saw women in the plenty of women in the camp. I found myself there when I was asking God. I said, God, what are we doing here? I saw the way they were firing this arrow to women. When I looked at these women, they were a multitude. I looked around and said, Who are these women? And then I said, Pray. And not only that, another spirit they want used to attack women, vibrant women now, is the spirit of lesbianism. Spirit of a woman. I call it lesbianism because that's what we do. But spiritually, we call it spirit of what? Of woman. God forbid you suddenly see a woman, normally you're supposed to have affection for a man. She'll start having affection for what? A woman. It's an attack. You see women. That's what the pit of hell they are trying to do. They want to cause women to begin to misbehave. You just begin to live any kind of life. Live carefree life. You will see young ones, young ladies, especially the vibrant ones, young girls. You see them, they will have no regard for God again. Even the little ones that have regard, but there will be no regard. What will be in their mind is, then I just they misbehave, they live life. And before you know it, the spirit of a woman will start taking over them. So there is need for us to pray. Hallelujah. There is need for us to what? Men, if you say you know concern, you don't forget that if women begin to misbehave, now you go hear and pass. Three of us. Now no one has me. Three of us. Now you go hear and pass now. You know you know like shouts. You know everyone just start with a talk like this. You know say the thing they do like a... Uh, How you think they do? Talk now. Eh? They do like a... Uh, I think they carry need to the do it. The true person. So we have to pray. Hallelujah. Let's lift up our voice and begin to pray for women, young women, females, all around the world. Let's ask God that God should arrest their souls, that every attack from the pit of hell to cause them to fall, to cause them to be, begin to do all manner of evils. Let's ask God to take over women. Take over women. Take over their hearts. I'm not hearing you pray. Open your lips and pray for women. Pray, pray. Pray, actually, for the young ones. Pray for them. Pray for them, especially the young ones. Ask God to arrest their hearts. To capture their hearts for his glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Let the people of God say, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So shall it be. So please, you join me in prayer because these are my spiritual responsibilities. And I have too many responsibilities that the Lord will tell me, pray for this person. Pray, pray. I will say, God, eh? If you can, not at the time, I will say, who am I going to pray for? Eh? My own prayer, they, they never pray my own. And they pray for what? Another person. But the good in praying, let me tell you why it's good to pray for others. Because you are praying for others, God too will be doing what? You will be doing your own. Are you following me? So this is a part of my spiritual.